Hey everybody, welcome to a new module this week. We are going to be exploring transformations a little bit further. So we've talked about transformations, you know, control T, but we've only talked about it in terms of scale. So over the next couple of lectures, what we're going to be doing is talking about um, some other options that you have for transformations. And then next week, we're going to be looking at how to, how to apply those transformations in a little bit more advanced applications using some of our other exercises. Um, for this week, I've created this file for you. And to start off, this kind of reviews file organization. So when you first take a look at this, you just see this fun message here. When you open up the layer menu, you can see that there's a lot more to it. And what you can also do is, let's say you don't quite see everything you want to see, you can take your mouse at the edge of these menus, make them bigger, make them longer, make them shorter, but I like to have everything in view. Another thing that I've also done is I have what's called expanded all of my menus. So if I click on this, this expands it. If I click on this again, it collapses it. And I'm going to be talking about each shape set one by one. So let's go ahead and start with shape set one. You can see when I turn it on, my message to you is kind of in the way. So I'm going to click on that. In my little note, I put make sure that each set is visible at one time. So we'll just be working on these individually. Now in a nutshell, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking shape A and matching it to shape B. So always click on the shape that you're working on. And just like before, if you hit control T, you can move this kind of over to the, um, the new shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to align the corners. So I'm going to try to get this corner to match up here. And the reason why I like to match up the corners first is it makes it easier to then come to the corner and then drag my mouse to rotate it. To me, I can just see where these two lines are parallel a little bit better. And then I can drag it up a little bit more. You can see that sometimes my graphic card has a hard time. It's doing quite a bit. It's recording and photoshopping all at once. And then once you think you've got it done, or if you're at a good place, hit enter to apply that transformation. And then I'm just going to take shape A and move it under shape B. And I can do another little check. So can you see here that I've still got some transforming to do? I'm going to go back to that basic transformation. And then here, what I want to do is start seeing if I can change the size. Now, if you pull on any corner, it does um, a proportional transformation. I hit escape. But you can see that I'm only a little bit off here, but a little bit more off there. So it's not proportional. So I'm going to hit Control T again. And then this time you'll notice if I hit shift, it allows me to essentially skew them so that they're not in proportion. So again, holding shift down, it lets me move one side without moving the other as much. So you can see I'm getting pretty close there, but not perfect. And in fact, I'm gonna hit escape one more time. So I'm gonna hit control T one more time. And this time, I'm going to sneak into the other options that we have. So I'm going to right click. And here in the menu, after I hit right click, you can see I have scale. We've done that. I have rotate. We also have that. But then I have three other options. I have skew, distort, and perspective. Now let me just say right off the bat that distort is my favorite because it gives you the most control. Skew and perspective try to move your object proportionately, and so when you move one corner, it might grab another corner. Let me show you what I mean. So when I go to skew, let's say that I want to just try and fix this corner down here. Again, I'm going to try to move this up. 
And can you see that as I'm moving that up, it also pushes this side out as well? Okay, so sometimes skew works really nicely, but I want the most control. So I'm going to right click again and go to distort. And then this time you can see that with the distort, I can grab each corner and move it without having it affect the other corner as much. Now notice you, I said as much, <laughs> so it still moves it a little bit, but it's a lot easier to control than the other one. Now one other thing I will also say here is I'm kind of grabbing the corners and pushing this in. So I'm grabbing this corner and pushing this down. And I'll also grab this corner and push it in. These won't be perfect. Again, these aren't construction drawings, so it's okay if it isn't perfect. But as long as it's pretty close. Like for me, I will say that that is pretty close. You can see if I keep going, I'm just going to knock the corners off. So I was able to move shape A and align it with shape B by playing with the layers, moving between transform and um, distort as well. So I kind of had to go back and forth between them. And again, you can try skew and perspective to see which one works for you, but I have just found that I have the most control on distort. So let's try that again. So I'm going to leave that shape set as is, and let's try one that's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off and turn on shape set two. So this one's a little bit crazier. And again, I want to try to align shape A to shape B. So at this point, um, and you know, you probably have been already, you can hit pause at any point on this one. I'm going to go a little bit slower because on this one, I think I'm pretty much going to start off with distort. So let's start off with shape set two. So I'm gonna take shape A, and I'm gonna move it towards the center, and I'm also going to take shape B and move it towards the center as well. Okay. So again, um, what I can start doing is hit Control T, and from here, I can go right into distort. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of losing my voice. So I'm going to pull this corner up. And again, by pulling up on this corner, it's pulling that edge over. Now down here, I've got this corner here, and I'm going to use this grip point to move it. So I can first slide that corner over. Okay, and it's still moving me up here a little bit, so I'm just going to have to move this one back. I'm going to move this one up a little bit. And I'm sorry if my graphic card is freaking out. Again, I've got a lot going on in the background of my computer. It's trying its best to record and Photoshop. So you can see it takes a lot of back and forth. I kind of move one a little bit, and then I have to nudge the other one. And then I'm going to take this corner, right, and I'm going to pull that one down here. Okay, and again, it moved this here, but I'm going to say, okay, move this back. It's a lot of babysitting. And then what I like to do, once I get it to a point where it looks pretty good, I'm going to hit enter, just so, like, these three corners are locked. It's not to say that I won't have to move them again, but I just like to hit enter when I'm in a good spot. And then here, again, I've got this corner, but I'm going to use this toggle point to move it. Whoops, I did transform. Not what I meant to do. Let me go back. Let me go back to free transform. So I'm going to hit control T. And then again, I'm going to go to distort. I wish there was a way I could just grab this corner and move it, but it doesn't quite work like that. So again, I'm moving that corner, and the thing that's nice is my other two corners are staying put now that I hit enter. And I think that corner looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit enter again. Let me move my history out of the way. So let me move shape A a little. And I'm actually this time going to move shape B on top of it. 
So you can see it's pretty close. Again, as I said, it's hard to get these perfect. We can get them pretty close. I bet I can do shape A one more time. Um, let me do distort one more time. And I'm just going to grab this corner and pull it in. Grab this corner and pull it in. And maybe this corner and pull it in. Put this one up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. So again, not perfect. I've still got some pixels pointing out here and even above. If I zoom in, you can see that. But I think to the naked eye, that'll look pretty good. I think that'll look pretty close to being done. Um, let's move on to the next shape set. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you the other two um, and you can play with those on your own as well, right? So I have definitely gotten comfortable using Distort, but you really might like the others. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do Control T on Shape A, but for this one, I'm going to go to Skew. So for this one, if I grab this, I'm going to pull it all the way down. This one's going to be really crazy. You can see it. I don't, for whatever reason, I just feel like I have a little less control with skew, but I'm still kind of getting the shape close. And then just like before, you know, there is no science to this. You just kind of keep going at it. Um, before, in my previous example, at, at a, a certain point, I hit enter, right? So. I'm pretty happy with the shape, so I'm going to hit enter to kind of reset this bounding box. So when I hit enter, I can hit control T again, and I can go back to skew. So again, that was a right click and then skew. And skew doesn't allow me to grab all points, but most points. So there's that line right there. And again, just because skew is a little bit tricky, I'm going to hit enter and I'll try to finish up this corner here. So control T, right click, skew. And just like before, if I want to take this corner and move it down, I have to grab this corner and move it down. When it's, you can see it's moving it down. It's doing a pretty good job, but not without moving this side, but that's okay. I'm going to hit enter and then I'll move the green box on top. So I'm going to click on Shape B in my layer menu, drag it, look for that blue line to show me that it's above, and then let go. Control T again. Oh, whoops, wrong shape. So I'm going to hit Escape, Shape A, Control T. And then again, I'm going to go to right click. I'm going to go back to Distort this time just because I know I'll be able to easily fix these corners with distort. Okay, and then you can see here that corner is a little bit off. So I'm gonna grab that one as well. Like I said, a little bit of nudging all over, but I think that's pretty close. So I'm gonna hit enter and that's shape set three using a combination of um, distort and skew. Now I won't be doing perspective because perspective totally has a mind of its own, but I'd like you guys to try it just to see what it does. Um, again, I'm not trying it just because it, uh, it, it does something so different than what we want that by the time I get it to work, I will have gone around and around in circles. So we'll use that for something else. Now with shape set um, four, again, we're trying to take shape B and match it, to, match it to shape A. Sometimes it's just as simple as um, transforming it. So this time we're gonna go back to our basics. I'm gonna hit control T, I rotate it, and I can align it. I'm just making sure that these are parallel. I'm gonna bring it on top. And then here, because it's not proportional, again, I hold shift so I can move the bottom without affecting the side and then shift again. And that allows me to move those sides individually. And then I can hit enter and you can see that this shape is pretty simply done.
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to redo that. So I'm going to hit Control Z. I hit Control Z twice. And Control Z again is undo. And I'm going to do um, shape B again. I swapped the colors on this one. I think I, so I'm going to do B just so it's always the black one. You can do either one. But this time what I want to do is I'm going to do Control T and I am going to move it over and I'm going to use my same um, distort to go ahead and distort this. And you can see the difference between the two. So I've got this corner and now I'm going to grab this corner. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the other one too much. It doesn't. Okay. So two different techniques to try and change the, uh, or transform an object to take on a different shape. Now in our next exercise, what we're going to do is take what we've just learned and use these techniques to change the perspective of some art pieces to fit within some frames on the wall. And then next week, we're going to expand this a little bit further and start putting some exterior billboards together. So I hope this helped. Again, it was a quick introduction, but again, you guys can pause and rewind at your own pace until you feel comfortable. Thanks for following along with me.